Once upon a time, there was an idiot. That's right. There was an idiot. And this idiot, um, you know, was uh, flipping houses, thinking he's pretty cool. You know, been doing it for a while. And, you know, buying, buying low, selling high, and all that good stuff. And, you know, making some money. And so said idiot got awful ambitious and thought, you know, man, I can really ramp up my business here. And uh, a opportunity arose uh, to buy a property uh, on the hill, you know, in the, up the hills. They're actually literally across the street from the governor's mansion. And, uh, you know, it's pretty cool. Like, hey, you know, so the idiots like, hey, you know, this is pretty cool. I can start making some more money. You know, make bigger profit margins and so forth. So, they, you know, the idiot buys this property. Now, instead of spending, you know, 80 grand on the rehab, so it'd be commensurate with, you know, a property right across the street from the governor's mansion and other properties on the hill and so forth. It, you know, decided to uh, save a few bob and uh, ended up, uh, you know, spending like 30 grand. What do I mean? Well, you know, instead of having the two inch thick, you know, granite, he went with an inch thick. You know, instead of put brand new cabinets in there, uh, you know, refinish the cabinets. And it looked nice. It was, it was a nice, you know, rehab and so forth. Um, sort of adding a garage or a garage, uh, he just left it, you know. And so, anyway. He did it, solved the problem himself, a beautiful house on the hill right across the, street, the governor's mansion. So he put it on the market and it set and it sat and a bloody set. No, that happened. So what do you think the idiot had to do? Well, he had to keep, you know, dropping the price. Well, long about Christmas time, the idiot's lender was getting ready to the note was due. So the idiot you knew what he had to do. Took a fifty-three thousand dollar loss, <laughs> fifty-three grand, bam, right before Christmas. Just to get out from underneath that house because he couldn't sell for what he thought he could sell for. You wonder who that idiot was? <laughs> Guilty as charged. You got me, right? Well, why am I telling you this story? Because I like to self-deprecate myself. No, I'm telling you something because. That was a horrible, horrible lesson. I learned my lesson. Oh, man, it was right before Christmas. My wife was so mad at me. She was pissed off. Uh, you know, and, uh, but I learned something. What am I telling you this for? Okay, why did I tell you this story? Because, listen, as a wholesaler, if you're a rehabber too, this will apply, but it's specifically if you're a wholesaler, you need to understand, my friend, what goes on from a rehabber's perspective, okay? I'm going to say that one more time. If you're a wholesaler, you've got to understand what goes to the mind of a, of a, wholesale, of a rehabber, okay? A fix and flipper. Because let me tell you right now, the story I just told you right now, that sucks. Yeah, but don't worry, I made, yeah, I made, I, I don't know, a story that I can tell you about how I made my money plus on that deal, uh, on another deal, so it doesn't really matter. But it sucked. It was a learning experience, a $53,000 college, you know, tuition on 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 one just one deal but it might be an unwise okay i say this to you because every rehabber out there and if you're a rehabber listening to this video you've got you know what i'm talking about we all have these stories and now we you know decades later we can sit back in the pub and laugh about it and talk and oh, i was fun man i was that sucked that was a bad but we all have them right and those are those are not something you want to repeat Okay, they suck. Losing money like that just because you bought wrong and just spend the money on rehab really sucks, okay? And so that's why it's so, as a wholesaler, and I'm speaking to you, if, you, if you're a wholesaler, you've got to understand this is a risk that a rehabber is taking, okay? So when I, you talk to a, a guy like me, I'm trying to help you grow your business, mentor you and in, 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 in buying right and so forth, you – Buying right is critical because these these that deal I told you was real. I'm not making this up. That was a real fifty four thousand dollar title calls me up. Okay, bring the cashier check, fifty four grand. Right, I really had to do it, and it sucked. Right, my point is this. So when 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 you ha when I say you have to buy right, I'm serious because your buyer, your 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 rehab to a wholesale, you wholesale us to a to a rehabber. 
he's thinking this through his head. He's like, do I want to – is this a risk that I'm going to have to bring money to the table with, right? And he doesn't want to do that, okay? So I say this to you because you want to have a good business relationship with your rehabbers. If you're a wholesaler, you want to understand their business model. Very critical, okay? Spend the time to understand what they, what they do. Have them tell you some stories, some horror stories maybe even, just to kind of understand their risk tolerance because, you know, we all – rehabbers, we all have them, okay? So I'm not saying to tell you the story to be negative, all right? But actually flip it, be positive. Listen, don't don't make the same mistakes, okay? And and, and listen, if you want, if you're a rehabber, or I'm a wholesaler, and and you and you you really want to do good business with the, with a rehabber, understand their business model, right? And listen, let them tell you some stories and what they learn from it, okay? And then you can learn from their mistakes vicariously, okay? And you can grow, all right? Grow your business, and I tell you. If you understand a cash buyer's business model and you know what he's been through, you're not going to, you're not going to waste your time giving them non deals. It's the last thing you want to be doing, giving a whole a rehab or non deals. Believe me. Okay. I get people call me all the time about that. Non deals suck. They're a waste of time. Right? So anyways, I hope you learned something from this lesson, a $53,000 lesson you can learn for free by just watching this video. Listen, if you have any questions about anything in real estate, call me up, let me know. Comments on the bottom and uh, hit like if you can. Um, but I'm serious. This is a heart attack. It, you know, listen to – if you're a wholesaler, you've got to understand your, your cash buyer's business model. L understand what, 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 what his risk tolerance is. It's very important so that he can buy right. Because if he's buying right through you because you're buying right, okay, your business is going to explode because this cat is going to be your best friend. And he's going to tell all his buddies or her buddies about you, okay? All right. Talk to you soon. God bless. And uh, again, hit like if you can, if you like this. And any questions, call me or put your things on there. All right. Cheers.